Batman issue 20, which is written by Tom King, art by David Finch. This is the final part of I Am Bane, the end of this arc, the end of this trilogy of arcs, mm. uh, which he always called it that, but I don't think until... I mean, obviously there was a the clear connection. They kind of fall into each other, but I don't think until this issue you really got that sense of this is a trilogy of arcs. But now it does. Like Looking back at it, you yeah. Go, yeah, this was a trilogy, and it'll, it'll feel nice to reread in that sense. Yeah, I think in trades, I think if you read this, uh, or in the, the deluxe hardcovers or whatever, when, when that time mm. comes, I think when you read this so all in one go. It went, I am Gotham, I am Suicide, and then the last one was I am Bane? Yeah. yeah. So it's a Gotham Suicide Bane. I wonder if that's supposed to mean anything. I, I don't know if that's supposed to read out something, but I, I think it thematically works with giving yeah. the ultimate message at the end of this issue, because Batman and Bane yeah. are fighting throughout the issue, and they're, they're yep. trash-talking each other, essentially. And Throughout, there's this narration from someone who we don't quite know mm. who's, who's narrating. Uh, and it turns out throughout this issue that it's actually... <laughs> it's Martha. Uh, Martha Wayne. But it's, it's worth pointing out that if you are going to do something like this, this is how you do it. Oh, yeah. You don't... Yeah. You don't have the reveal come mid-fight, so they stop fighting. I, I'm, I mean, I'm cracking the joke just because it's a joke now to say Martha, not because yeah. I actually yeah think there's anything wrong with what he's done in this issue. Uh, oh but no, he, no, no, no! I know. I'm just saying. I'm pointing out this is the way. It's fine. Like when I got there, there was no eye roll. There was. I was like, oh, that makes perfect sense. Yeah. It's also because obviously we set up. I think it was three issues ago, maybe that that Batman still has that that proving himself to his mother. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and what I like is throughout the issue she's talking about how oh, Gotham Girl and Gotham as well but he died but Gotham Girl is this chance you saw a chance of victory that, that she can win the war she's a tool and what I like about this and this and then the ultimate swerve at the end the message at the end is that you kind of buy into this because it is kind of like how Batman thinks he prepares he sees opportunities he is kind of cold in that sense at times uh, but ultimately at the end after he wins the fight and we'll talk about the fight because the fight has some fantastic moments in it yes it uh, does but the the ultimate message at the end, when he has that scene after he's beaten Bane and it's, it's in, in his head, essentially, talking to his mother, he's like, no. Like, yeah, she's, she's powerful and all that, but she's not, uh, she wasn't, this wasn't a tool, this wasn't about winning a war, this wasn't about doing this, she was a girl who needed help. That's all it is, yeah. and that's all it's ever been. Uh, and Mar- Martha says, you know, you don't have to have a good death, which reconnects to that line back in the very oh. first issue. Yeah. Uh, this so morning. good. Yeah. And you don't have to have a good death to, you know, impress me, to make me proud of you. And he's like, I know. It's kind of like him realising that he, he's almost leaving the death of his parents behind. It's not about that anymore. Like, it's right. kind of stopped being about that somewhere well, along his, the way. His mission evolved from this will never happen to anybody again to how can I clean up the city because the city needs cleaning, not just yeah, because, because it's parents. because it's the right thing to do. Right. Yeah. Not just, not a personal motivation. Yeah. And I also like that the this is a good death. It's kind of a shout out to Dark Knight Returns, mm-hmm. which can some I see sometimes as a flawed Batman story, and that it opens with this would be a good death in the race car, and I feel like this at the end, you know, kind of mm-hmm. puts that that version of Batman to rest a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I like the message. I like I like the ultimate thing that he the statement he says at the end. It it, it makes him just. It's like it reminds you that in there there is a heart. Even if he acts you yeah. know, cold and he acts calculated and he acts all these things, this is still in there. There, are, there is humanity to Batman, uh, which is often easy to forget when he just becomes the symbol. He just becomes these things. Uh, that said, though, the actual fight had two fist-pumping moments in particular yeah. for me. Uh, one mm-hmm. was early on, uh, after Bane threatened him or whatever, there's a great page of Batman saying, you know how many times I've heard that? You know how many times I've heard one of you tell me you're going to kill me, this is your last night, this is that, this is this, and yet I am still here. Yeah. Mm. And that already made me fist pump, and I thought, oh, great, that, that was invigorating, this is great. And then I thought, it doesn't have to do it again now. But sure no, enough... Especially with that was yeah. so early in the issue as well. Yeah. yeah. But sure enough, we get we get further into the issue, and B- Bane gives a fantastic monologue, by the way, as he's kicking the shit out of Batman. He's like, oh, I'm going to hang your sons again. I'm going to kill Gordon. They're going to shine that light in the sky and then no one's going to come. And there's, like, he's, he's Fantastic talk. It's, 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 it's almost it's his it's, version of the uh, the speech from Dark Knight Rises, essentially. Yeah. yeah. Well, and, and they re-up Bane as a great Batman villain because he's kind of been floundering for years now. And here it's, 
he's almost the philosophical rival to yeah, but, to Batman. It actually makes me excited for that mini that we've got. Yeah, uh, is it, is Conquest. It Conquest. Yeah, yeah. Vixen. Because it's like, oh, I want to see Bane after this. You know, uh-huh. I want to see how he takes this and deals with it because it's maybe interesting the character again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, now, so he, he his monologue was fantastic. I was I was digging every threat he was throwing out. It just it felt super dark. It felt super uh, vengeful. Like he was really trying to like hurt everything that Batman cares about. Uh, and then he's like, and he ends with "I am Bane." And he's like, in Batman, in clear pain, he's like, I know, but you forget. And then you turn the page, and as he headbutts Bane in the face with his curl, he's like, I am Batman. And he's like, oh, man, yes. Fist pump, like... Even this jaded Superman fan was like, <laughs> that's dope. Like, I couldn't yeah. help myself. That, this was a well-written like culmination of everything that's been happening since the start of this run yeah. Yeah. and I think for as much as you know we, we had some issues early on we had a couple of missteps here or there uh, I, I think the, the hanging of the Robins was the one that we all agreed on and there was some Matt had maybe yeah. a few more than other uh, we did and so on but I think ultimately everything's kind of paid off like everything he's played the long game and everything seems yeah. to have kind of slotted in nicely there's a nice story being told here over this mm-hmm. That's what, and you know, that, that I think is important that you say he's played the long game, and he has. It's a, it's been obviously less than a year, but twenty issues is kind of verging on the long game now. Is, yeah. Oh yeah, that and and it makes me excited. Going right, what's next? What's he got? Because I I don't assume for one minute now that whatever's next is just whatever it seems. Yeah. It's going to be playing to something larger. I'm sure. Do you know what we? I actually, have the button and then the war of jokes and riddles, right? Yep. Like, yeah. yeah. Button obviously so, is its own thing, which has got connections yeah. to other things. Kind of like Monster Men was sort of... Yeah, a, it's a break. But what, do you know what I'm actually liking about war of jokes and riddles? And not just because we saw the first cover from uh, Jan and, and it looked gorgeous. Yeah. Uh, but do you know what I'm actually kind of appreciating about that? I'm appreciating that whilst we're getting this dark days, dark nights, metal stuff going on, yeah. that... The, the main Batman book's doing like an early days Batman story. I actually kind of like how it's like, all right, one's this big universe thing, uh, yeah. and then this yeah. is going to be more, more down to the basics, early days Batman fighting the Joker and Riddler. Like, it pleases everyone, doesn't it? Yeah, I actually, I'm kind of liking the, the timing of it. Like, it, it feels like it fits nicely along the side of that, which is mm. cool. So, yeah, that's good. Uh, but no, uh, fist pumping, uh, great moments. Uh, you know, I think Finch really upped his game. Yep. Yeah. Here too. Jo- like jo- each issue of this arc, he's gotten better and better. So I think the breaks are really beneficial. They're doing a fantastic here. job on this book with, uh, and we've said this repeatedly, but I'm saying it again because it's worth the fact that they are keeping the artists on this, the full arcs and they're not yeah. divvying yeah. them up. I feel like it's helping us a lot. Uh, and obviously, I prefer Janin because Janin is more impressive. But it's yeah, it's a clean, a good... big yeah. And that's kind of like I am Suicide versus I am Bane. I Am Suicide was kind of this big, not not quite blockbuster, but like action story. Mm. It's Batman going to this island and infiltrating, and it's almost like a heist. Yeah. This one was dark and dingy, and and it, it fit Finch's style just as well as Janin's style fit I Am Suicide. Do you know what image I love uh, in this issue? I love the whole like half ripped off mask on Bane. Like I think that looks yeah. great. Mm. It looks particularly yeah. evil with that. Yeah, he does. It's and the, it's like the blood still kind of just clotted around it. Just mm. really gives it stand out, doesn't it? Yeah, uh, I, I think I think for me the the standout art from this arc is probably uh, the stuff in this issue is great. But I think for me that the build up to Bane and the the build up to going into Arkham, that stuff you know with the lightning and, and, and mm. like, I think that's probably yeah. my standout panels from this arc. But this stuff's that was pretty great. Yeah, yeah, that was the issue that had the balance between the two. Like we see them coming up. Parallel. Yeah. 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 That one, that was probably the high point, but this is close, I think. As fun as the Arkham stuff was, it was kind of like the greatest hits. Like, we get to see Finn Strong, Mr. Freeze, and the Mad Hatter, and Scare all these yeah, yeah. Kind Scare of like just here, have one one issue for the yeah. fun of it. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But it was good, though, because it was kind of like just building and building to this fight. And it's funny because I, I think some people were probably disappointed that it wasn't more focused on the fight, but I actually preferred that it focused on the emotional, you know, the emotions you behind care. the fight. Yeah. 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 You make him care about the fight, you could do whatever you want in the fight. Yeah. You know? Yeah, you do it, that. You can a have certain mo- Netflix show that's on right now. So. I, I mean, you, you proved the emotion in the fight. You can have Batman go, because I'm Batman, 
and do a badass moment and you can get even Matt going, yeah, I'm on yeah. board with that. Yeah. 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 So it's, it's great. I, I think King's Batman's run is really kind of come into it. So to the point where I think, I think just generally we're going to trust them more now. Even if yeah. he does make a couple of little missteps, it's like, yeah, I feel like this will ultimately pay off in some yeah. way. Uh, so. Not everything's going to be perfect, but I mean... But it's... I... It's got me pumped for uh, jokes and riddles, especially seeing the cover and seeing what the Joker's going to look like in it and stuff, and seeing it's a more classic-looking Joker. And I'm, I'm, mm. I'm kind of pumped. I'm hopeful. Well, I hope, I hope he does for Riddler what he did for Bane here, mm. that it reestablishes him, gives him kind of a new viewpoint while staying within the lines. Because that was my main problem with Snyder's version of Riddle, uh, Riddler in, in uh, Zerier, was it was it just seemed a bridge too far, you know. So say that about a lot of things in the new 52, though. Yeah. Yeah.